I swear Malou had you <laughs> on her mind today. She is talking she cheese. This is the queen of designing a cheese spread. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> most definitely. It's always a party favorite. And honestly, it's one of the most fun things to create when I host friends and family. It's yeah. just so cool to be able to get different designs with the cheese. And you can do so many different things. And, and yummy. And yummy. <laughs> and Malou has some really fun and fresh <laughs> ideas for you. So check it out. San Francisco where they make house-made bagels and pretzels and they're also experts at cheese. That's why we're here with Tamara. Hi Tamara. Hi, how are you? Welcome. So happy you're here today. I'm happy too because we're talking all about cheese and how to make that great cheese board. All right. One of my favorite things to talk about. So so what have you done here with this first one? This first one, um, I think the, the thing to remember is just have fun. You know, yeah. uh, be super playful. And the thing I do first is just grab a, a nice board you have laying around your home and start with the cheeses. You now put the cheeses on you can do a board this one for example is all goat um, so sometimes I'll do you know all the same animal because it's fun to talk about the baby goats yeah. and just everything um, adorable about goats everybody loves a goat um, and then you can do a board that's like a cow sheep goat you know so right yeah, so here with the goat cheese you have like lemons here you have some edible flour so there are ways because you know goat cheese has a certain type of flavor right yes how would you right. describe it like um, I mean it can depend on the, what type of goat cheese but it can um, be uh, you know a stronger cheese mm -hmm. and so you do want to have things on your board that are going to be like savory and some sweet and some crunchy and because you don't want to have the same flavor profile people are going to get bored with the board right <laughs> yeah, sorry. we're not going to um, do that so you have edible flowers here you put lemon yeah i mean if you you know have uh, mm -hmm. lucky enough to have a little bit of a, a yard or you go to the farmer's market mm -hmm. i mean look around and what do you have in your kitchen what do you have in your backyard what do you have um just, you know, just no like rules. sitting around, no rules. So I love to use throughout the year edible flowers. Um, uh, here I have some rosemary um, in California. We often have lemons, you know, yeah. like on trees Great around. Great ideas. And so raisins too. Yes, raisins. Sweetness. California, exactly. Okay. And then how about this board over here? What is this? This is a preserve. So if you don't have, like, you didn't get to the farmer's market, you know, maybe you have a preserve laying around or some friend gave you something for the holidays. <laughs> and so this is a, a pear and ginger preserve that a friend of ours makes from um, fruit that she gets left over from the farmer's market. So. Yeah. And so San Geronimo cheese, what kind of cheese is this? That is a washed rind um, cow. This entire board are are all cow cheeses um, from you know local so we have from point rays and strong this is strong strong cheese so mm -hmm. it's a bit uh, tangy I would say and that's why you're gonna have if you're at a party you're gonna have a couple bites of that and then you're gonna like oh maybe I sweet. should have yes I'm gonna have a tangerine with that or honey or the preserves oh that's nice so, that's a nice little party in my mouth right now <laughs> <laughs> and then we also, you know, this one I played around with color a little bit, which is fun. And so we have some carrots um, that were preserved and, you know, just to match kind of the yellowness that's coming through these cheeses. Okay, great ideas for that board right there. Okay, and then over here, you have butter. Yeah, I've butter. never seen butter on a cheese yeah, board, but it so makes it, sense. It makes sense, right? You put butter on crackers and bread all the time, so why not put it on a cheese board, especially if it's um, beautiful like this one. This is one of the things that we make here at Daily Driver. So it's hand paddle, culture, like a French style butter. And um, so for like boards like this, one, I love these little signs. Yeah. They, they're super cheap to buy. And then you don't have to stand by your board all day when people are like, what, what is this one? Because some people, you know, can't maybe eat a cow cheese. Um, right. And so at least they know what kind of animal it's from and they learn something. You right. know, we really want people to go, oh, I'm going to go buy that cheese and at a store. this is a nice touch too there, Tamara. Maple cream. So that's, again, throwing that like sweetness in. This is from one of our favorite farms, Spring Brook Farm in Vermont. Probably sometimes we let Vermont come to on our boards in California. Um, and then this right here is... That is tal a... How do you say that? Talika. Talika. It's a Coast Miwok name and it is the only mixed milk sheep on these boards. So it's a cow sheep and goat. And it's just, you can all see three. it, just, yes, all three. It's got all three animals in there. It's just like equal opportunity <laughs> on that cheese. So. Well, Tamara, thank you very much. Time to get cheesy. I got to take a bite of this, all right? Enjoy. Yeah. Thank, you thank you so, you so much. much for thank coming you. in.
Ooh. How to be in heaven. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Malou quietly took a sample yeah. of everything she was talking and about. And it's always funny to watch people around a cheese board when it first comes out because uh, nobody wants to touch it because it's so pretty. And then the second somebody <laughs> does, it's, everyone just rushes it and eats it all. So for more cheese board ideas and all of our stories, you can go to our website at NBCCALive.com. Enjoy your Thursday. We will see you tomorrow. It's Friday. Yay! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>